So have you heard of gas station Ozempic? I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but I'm also a GLP-1 advocate. So I help people get access to GLP-1s that don't have access to these medicines through traditional insurance. So if that's something that, that you need help with, just click over in the profile and there's a link in my bio that I can get you help with those. However, I had an excellent question the other day from someone and I wanted to get on here and do a quick video about it. So what the heck am I talking about? Um, so gas station Ozempic has really recently become a thing and it's in reference to people using nicotine in any form. So nicotine pouches, nicotine patches to help with weight loss. So this has actually become a new trend and people have actually called it gas station Ozempic because these nicotine pouches, specifically like a Zen pouch, you can get from gas stations. So let me just give you a little dive on this why I think maybe this is not the most amazing idea. So every time you expose your body to nicotine, you actually develop more and more nicotine receptors in your brain. When those nicotine receptors actually get nicotine and get fulfilled by the nicotine, it releases dopamine, which is the feel-good hormone in your body. So if your nicotine receptors have nicotine in them and dopamine is released, then you feel amazing. The problem is, is that your body will continue to create more and more and more receptors and these receptors will want to be fulfilled. So just a little bit of nicotine is not going to continue to give you the same effect that it used to. So you're, you're going to continue to require more and more and more nicotine to get that same sensation. Now, the reason that people are utilizing this for weight loss is because when you have a lot of dopamine in your system, it tends to give you the feel good hormones and you tend to eat less and tend to have a more satisfied feeling. So people tend to not eat as much. However, I really just think you're probably swapping one addiction for another. So basically you're creating a nicotine addiction in your brain and then you're just going to continue to need more and more nicotine to, to sustain that. Now, if you abruptly cut yourself off from nicotine, then you're going to go into nicotine withdrawal, which although not dangerous, is extremely uncomfortable. So it really doesn't matter what form of nicotine you're utilizing for this, whether or not it's a pouch or a nicotine patch or gum, um, it's the same principle because nicotine is a drug and it's rather addictive and it causes the same reaction in your brain. So although I do understand the principle of what's going on here and why it might make someone lose weight and actually feel good, I do have some health concerns about people utilizing nicotine in any form for weight loss. So if this is something you're doing, uh, please let me know in the comments and let me know how it's going. I can't say that I really am recommending this from a health perspective, but um, it is something that's new and trendy. So I, I do think that it might be something that you might be hearing about.